Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in online marketing, we'll discuss about display advertising. What is display advertising? How display advertising works? What are the advantages and disadvantages of display advertising? Let's get started with it. What is display advertising in the first place? All online ads that come with videos, images, audios and banners display or display ads. This is display advertising. You might have seen on social media, on different websites that you browse through and even on search engines, what you see is you see a lot of advertisements and most particularly mostly on the website that you actually go through. On the left side, on the right side or in the bottom or in the top, you will see a lot of ads in the banner shapes where the images are sometimes available, where sometimes the audios pop up, then sometimes you actually see a video coming out and actually video playing. These are all display advertising that the advertisers are putting up on the sites to actually drive traffic to their websites or the landing pages. This is what display advertising is all about. They come in different shapes and sizes. They are small, they are big, some of them they are long, some of them they are rectangular. Different types of display advertising are actually is what we see on different websites. What are the advantages of this display advertising? Images and videos create a visual impact. They do. The images that you see on the ads or the video that you see, they actually create an impact as far as the users are concerned. Users are more likely to get attracted to display advertising. There is a possibility that you can actually see the ads appearing where the image is appearing and there is a lot of content is available and you, the content is displayed along with the video, along with the images and sometimes you see videos explaining a particular product or a service or a solution. They are actually more likely to get attracted. More space to display images text with features and benefits. When you have display advertising, basically they are very big, they are very long sometimes horizontally, sometimes vertically. When they, you, the advertisers have a lot of information that they can actually project because they have a lot of space and this actually creates an impact as far as the users are concerned because they can see the benefits and the features of that particular product. Benefits from geo-targeting. Geo-targeting is an extremely important part in display advertising. The advertisers basically what they do is when they actually put up these display ads in terms of images, the videos, they actually do the geo targeting which is geographical targeting. They actually target a particular geography where they actually want to make the sales and the people or the users who belong to that particular geography and this actually really works in online advertising and display advertising. Remarketing offers immense benefits. Remarketing is actually a technique used in PPC paid search, paid traffic or paid advertising through Google AdWords. What happens is I go to a particular website and there is an advertising available where the advertiser is basically selling shoes, a men's formal shoes. What I see is I see the ad, I, they, it is written that you know the shoe display image is appearing, it is a branded shoe, it looks very good, then below that they are at you know 60% off, 60% discount. I get attracted. What is it is I click on that ad. Then I go to that particular e-commerce site. I may buy it, I may not buy it. That's a different topic altogether. But what happens is the next time I go to an alternate, a different website altogether, I get a lot of shoe ads. Because previously on another website, I have seen a shoe ad and I clicked on that ad. This is remarketing. This is basically the you know, online shopping websites, what they do is they are actually coming to me because they have seen my past experience of clicking on that particular ad. This is what remarketing and it actually works in getting to people who are actually looking for a similar product. Increased conversion rate and this display advertising actually they do have a lot of increased conversion rates as far as sales are concerned. Now what are the disadvantages that are associated in display advertising. Increased ad blocking by users. What most of the users are doing is they are blocking the ads in the browsers and this actually could hamper the display advertising. Trust on banners ads are minimal. Surveys and research has revealed that you know people actually do not trust the banner advertising. That is what the research says. Users feel display ads are distracting. Sometimes you go to a particular website there is a lot of very good information that is available and you are actually reading a good article, 
you see an ad on the right side that is blaring on you with loud colors. This could be distracting for you and most people don't like it. Most ads are clicked are accidental. This happens more often than not, it happens with everybody. Sometimes if we go to a particular website, we try to click on something else, but we click on something else, the ad is clicked and the user goes to their particular website and the you advertiser actually loses money. This is actually creating a lot of problems both for the advertisers as well as for the users. Loss of revenue is one area because of this accidental clicks. And these are some of the disadvantages of display advertising. In this session what is we have seen is what is display advertising, the advantages and the disadvantages of display advertising. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.